Armstrong Ceramics. I thought I would give you a quick video of my studio to introduce you around and you can see the space um, that I work in and I teach in. Okay. Okay, so this is as you come through the door. Um, I have a few pieces of work in the windows and set up at the front and then we're into what I use for teaching. So I use um, commercial brush on glazes um, for my classes and we have a range um, all in the pots on the shelves in colour categories. And then we've got some slips and paint brushes, under glazes, stains, oxides, all of that kind of thing. And then we have tools on the shelves, all kinds of different kinds of tools that you can use while hand building with clay. I do mainly hand building um, at the studio. Uh, I, I hand build myself, um, so my classes are pretty much uh, all about hand building. Um, although we now have a wheel. This is a completely new addition. Um, I'm not a thrower. Uh, but it's a lot of fun to have a go. So this is going to be where I'm spending a fair amount of my time uh, in the next it's coming months. Um, so in the middle we have the tables to work on, um, bags of clay to use. Generally use just the one kind of clay for hand building and then a smooth white second kind of clay for the throwing. We've got shelves for work in progress that are currently filled with my stuff to make room in the windows um, for the open studios, uh, open windows this summer. So some other tools we have, I've got an extruder so we can extrude coils, uh, makes life a bit easier. Uh, aprons for any size, age, um, uh, we have a toilet in a small kitchen, uh, a sink with a trap underneath so you can wash your hands straight in the sink, which for me is a bit of a luxury because I didn't have it at the last place. And then we've got a slab roller, just a little one, but it's very useful. There's a pug mill hiding behind there, which is great for clearing out all the bags of clay so that we can reuse it all again. And then through here, is the kiln room. So I've got my main big kiln and then I have two smaller little top loaders that I just plug in once. And then we have the shelves of all the work that people are making. So believe it or not they're a little bit empty at the moment because um, classes haven't been running as normal this term. But uh, there's some lovely work there, as usual. Okay, so that was a whistle-stop tour of my studio. This is a teaching studio, so it's quite big and has room for teaching up to 12 people. Um, more comfortably eight, uh, particularly with adults. Um, but kids, we can fit 12 around the tables. Um, so I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I will... I hope be running classes again soon um, so it'll be lovely to see anybody here that would like to have a go at building things with clay. I should say I'm based in Cambridgeshire. <laughs> okay, bye.